guys, what's up? It's Tarun with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy. Welcome to Meds Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about amoxicillin, also known as amoxil, also known as amoxitag, and frankly it could be like a million other names to it. They're always reformulating it and adding this and that jazz to it. It's an antibiotic. Chances are you've probably had it or you've given it to your kids. Very, very common, very, very easy antibiotic to take. So what is it generally for? I wish I could tell you. It's for a lot of different things out there. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic, meaning it can cure anything from sort of any ears, nose, and throat infection to skin infections, and then there's a bunch of off-label uses, but uh, it's an antibiotic nonetheless. So uh, as far as dosing goes, I don't want to get into that. There's literally a million different ways you can take amoxicillin. That all kind of comes from your doctor, depending on what you have. So I'm just going to skip that part altogether. Um, if you have a sensitive stomach, always make sure that you take these antibiotics with food. Um, and then also any vitamins and minerals that you're taking or any herbal supplements you're taking, make sure you run them past your local pharmacist or your doctor, but really you want to make sure that you take uh, the vitamins and minerals one hour before your antibiotic or two hours after your antibiotic so that they don't uh, interfere with each other. Um, beyond that, if you have a penicillin allergy, make sure that your doctor knows because penicillin, moxicillin, penicillin, moxicillin, they sound alike because they're cousins of each other. So if you have a penicillin allergy, you probably cannot take amoxicillin unless it's a very mild allergy and you have to have amoxicillin. Again, that's stuff that your doctor should go over with you. Um, beyond that, here's a list of the common side effects. Uh, a lot of the same kind of side effects you see with uh, most antibiotics. Um, if anything out of the unusual happens, like an anaphylactic reaction, skin rashes, hives, call your doctor, stop taking the antibiotic immediately or your local pharmacist, and then go from there because you probably need to be switched on to a different antibiotic. So, number one question that I get asked in the pharmacy is, I'm sick, how quickly is this gonna kick in for antibiotics? Um, for immediate release formulations, it's generally about an hour, give or take uh, a little over. Um, if it's an extended release version, it, you know, you'll fully really be feeling the effects in about three hours. Um, it doesn't, it generally kind of wears off pretty quickly, which is why amoxicillin is dosed, you know, twice a day, three times a day, depending on uh, what you got. Um, I think that kind of covers everything. I think the, the main caveats beyond that is to make sure that you finish taking your antibiotic. Please do that, guys. Even if you feel better after about three or four days and you're supposed to take it for 10 to 14 days or whatever, finish taking the antibiotic. Trust me, what happens is that the antibiotic starts kicking in, it starts doing its job, but that bacteria is still in your system and if you stop taking the antibiotic, the antibiotic goes away, but then that bacteria goes, hey, the antibiotic's leaving. We can go back to doing what we're doing and grow and replicate. And then you get sick again, right? And then it, and then it messes with your immune system. So don't do that. Make sure you finish all of your medication. Um, and another big thing that I have to throw out there is, and I get this a lot in the pharmacy, is I'm sick. They don't know what they have because they, they don't want to go to the doctor, um, but they have some amoxicillin lying around from some time that the doctor gave it to them. Don't just take it if you're sick. I know I said that it's a broad spectrum antibiotic and chances are you, you know, if you take it, probably it would help, but don't do that. There's a thing called antibiotic resistance that we're fighting and then also it's just, it can lead to more harm than it is good. And just please don't do it, okay? <laughs> a lot of people don't wanna go to the doctors. We get it, we get it. Call the pharmacist, call a nurse that you know. Um, if you really have to, but don't just start taking antibiotics that are sitting in your cabinet um, if you get sick. We really need to know what you have so that we can give you the best antibiotic to fight it. Otherwise, you're just weakening your immune system by taking an antibiotic that doesn't help. So guys, I hope that really helps. That's amoxicillin in a nutshell. Again, there's so much amoxicillin. Make sure you talk to your doctor if you have further questions or your local pharmacist or if we're talking about amoxicillin for children and the suspensions and the different types. I'll do another video later on for Augmentin, which is amoxicillin plus uh, another addition in there, which kind of gives it a synergistic effect. It makes it even better. I'll call it Augmentin. Uh, but we'll go through that in another video. But as always, please call your other resources or call us here at Telfer, especially pharmacy. We're always glad to talk to you. All right, guys. Thanks, uh, make sure you subscribe to the videos, uh, to the channel, and keep watching the videos. Thanks.